What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So the round off where we left off, the French rebels have finally laid siege to Paris. So we'll be trying to abuse the hell out of our artillery on this one because they have got lots and lots of infantry and it may end up resulting in me having to recapture the town. But that's no matter, let's crack on. Ultimately, I think I'll hold them off because they are nothing more than pesky rebels. Um, however, I will need to really, really, really abuse my artillery on this one. I've not got very strong cavalry, so unlike my previous uh, capture of this region, I'm not going to be in a. I can, I'm not going to be as much of a position to just rely on artillery. to rely on being able to just. Um, running my cavalry around and doing all the hard work. So, and I am defending inside the town, which is somewhat limiting. So let's get everyone out of the way. So let's put some artillery on the flank. No, not behind these things. And let's back them up with some infantry, probably behind trenches. Hmm. It's tricky to know exactly what to do. I think I may end up. Hmm. I may end up sitting on the flank and then um, moving up and around out to here because the town's pretty darn tricky to defend. It gives them, it gives them an opportunity to focus on certain areas and, and rush me. So what I might do is deploy more out here and prepare to move, move up. So that means no defences. Yeah, I think that might be what I do. Let's keep them limbered up. Let's group some more infantry here. Put my other guns here. How it's there. How it's deployed. All my heart all my cavalry, you want to stick together, General. Canister shot is the basic anti-personnel ammunition type, usable by both Something like and howitzers at short ranges. It fires a cone of balls lethal to tighten. Something like this, because I need to... Because I've got such a... I've got an infantry disadvantage, I want to... Oh, that's a bit dodgy. These guys are going to probably want to make a run for it. Let's move up my cavalry to help them out. I'm going to deploy my experiment howitzers. My cannons are fortunately moving slightly oblique. Well, you know what I could do? If I do this, it will mean I don't have to run that infantry. I could do more of a general... Our men are running, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you manoeuvre your artillery. So this week you need guns, you go on your own. I'm going to run them anyway, just to keep them... Because one 
dodgy artillery shot here. I could get them all. Can you go up there as well? And limber my experimental howitzer. Yeah, I do need to run. Hit that Dragoons with all my cavalry. So I'd like to try and do some flanking manoeuvres and try and get some of this artillery, but it might be a bit tricky. No, just put you there. reach their line. Where's my rangering? Nope, way out. But they are doing some good damage on their infantry. Our men are running for Good and limber. Getting doing canister. Barrage. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Oh, shot barrage keep. Chucking on, so you start to hit the flank because they've got a bit less support than you do. Going to the Dragoons, my reinforcements are here, but that's just going to be a unit of... I know where they're going to go, so I'm content to just leave them and let them be. You start to just pound their artillery in the back. Yeah, you're all the way over there, so just run over here. It's a diddy little bit of infantry, you may as well go here. Yeah, their cavalry is routing, which is nice. I need to be careful of their... Aha! Okay, so I might... Nope. Let's keep you hitting them. Ultimately, I would like to wrap this flank up. Ultimately, I would like a gun there as well. It's too much cavalry for me to send all mine in. Redeploy these guys to knock to make sure I knock out that unit and then let's get these guys and start to start to rotate to support this flank. I'm slightly opening them up to the cavalry a bit. That's what's necessary. Let's limber these guys up because they're now in a bad position. You're limbering, you're limbering. Keep 
keep moving. Because yeah, these guys should be able to finish them off. Let's move up our cavalry to try to threaten them a bit. Let's run these guys up. Where's their square button? Some of them can't go square because the line infantry. Good, they've routed. Question is, do I? Can I spare this infantry to go starting to probe their artillery position? I think I can. And both turn on the barrage. Because they've got what, 120 dragoons, 120, 360 dragoons. I don't really want to send. I really don't want to send my guys up there alone. Let's get my howitzers. I don't really want to send my cavalry up there alone. Let's not get my howitzers to start pounding these guys. Now you need to take a more circular route. Where's my weak gun team? Poor buggers. They came back. You can never trust the damn rebels. the blast of canister just for fun missed let's get you doing round shot and firing at them and and doing a barrage having a by doing a making a barrage Go get them, horse guards. So they've managed to send one unit into one unit towards us, and we should be able to chew them up. We do have lots of horse guards. It's very nice of them to spend some time reforming. Trees come back, they're going to charge my gun. It's fair enough. The entire unit is dead, sir. Could be about to lose my cavalry. So, what in. Well, if I do, I do. run my infantry up, maybe I'm not going to fire into the combats, because ultimately my main strength is over here. And the damage I'm doing to these chaps. Yep, they want to hunker down in square formation, that's ideal. So the morale's good, and because they're surrounded by French cavalry, when I fire at them I'll be firing into... Um, their troops. See, my, my light horse isn't doing so well, but my uh, guard dragoons are still alive and kicking. Keep my light foot in the woods to skirmish the artillery. 
And you guys pour fire into their men. Because they still... See, they're coming after me, but they're walking. So if I can, can try and save my cavalry... Our men are running for yeah, my men didn't like that. But theirs will like it even less, because they are directly in the firing line. Well, their mind don't like it in my room very much at all. So they're falling back. Run these guys into square because my cavalry is about to break. So let them try, let them try break into my squares. Our men are running. It's my cavalry gone. Fair enough. Let us do our duty. I want to get my artillery up on this ridge. See, they are going to try break my squares, which is not so bad. You've broken one of the Dragoon units. Should be able to break another if they try. Ah, so they are re-entering the field. Two units broken. Our men are running for That's one square broken. They were very, very weak. This regiment unit though? Oh yes, they can't help themselves. On they come. Routing. They're gonna charge in and be routed. We've still got a good range. Yeah, they're still doing good work against these guys. See, what they should do is use their infantry to break me, but they're not. They're being very, very nice, and they're sending in their... sending in their cavalry. So once we break this Dragoon unit, it's open season. Send them up here to roll up the flank because these guys need a bit of support. So they've sent one unit up forward and he's got absolutely chomped. There's one Dragoon unit, it's sort of strong. Try and focus fire on that unit. Uh, that was my unit I sent back into line because the Dragoon units come back. Bring this foot unit over here. Let's get my guns up on this ridge. Keep my general moving up because I've not done a very good job at keeping him in a good position. This line infantry unit is going to be picked apart. these guys back a bit. Get these guys into square. Because they are fancying their chances. Bring them 
back into line. Keep them there, ready to... Come on, there you are. these guys up. How it's to depend on that square formation. To be honest, just put you there and start just getting some shots into these guys. Get ready. firing like madmen. Move him up. Let's line up and units routed, but not for the last time, I suspect. Hey, you came back. set up to invade and attack this wood. Well, actually, you'd probably be good here. You know, you're probably not going to be here long enough to get involved. See, the men are wavering, but they have had a hell of a time. These guys are going to pick at the general. Just let them pick. They're probably going to come back. But let's position my men to be... Where's my howitzer unit? How far can you shoot? Start dropping shells into the woods. This battery is firing straight on. Fire straight up the hill. Let's get into the woods. They're all engaging him. This unit? Good. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. That's not, that's, not be, that's not a good spot. Should have waited till you had... Uh, ammunition is going to be a danger. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Which one is that? A line unit. when you're around. Mainly because I want my... Let's do that. Mainly because I want my... If I have to do an assault, I want my assault to come from many directions simultaneously. You've shot yourself. Bases. Charge them into the guns. Charge them into the guns. Pretty much need to close the jaws of this vice now because these guys probably don't. Some of these guys don't probably don't have ammo. Move up and start taking pot shots at the general. Wow, 
that's uh to be honest stop firing because right now yeah my assaulting batteries have uh have, have, have failed Storm with Vigor. It's going to be general to walk after these chaps. Sir. Sir. Our general is no, he's attack. not really. He's walking after some French soldiers. Have a go. Have a go in hand to hand. Let's clear out these gun teams. Have you used all your ammunition? You have. because right now everyone is very unhappy. Charge that general unit. No, they've gone. They've gone, they've gone. Cool, let's turn off my artillery because I'm pretty sure. I want to continue. Even though for some reason it's not letting me Let's limber you up, then if you won't listen to reason, then let's use my general to do some mopping up. Chopping them up. But yes, not a bad first introduction into this recording session post trip away first battles are usually pretty dire it's unfortunate I lost all my cavalry but they will oh this isn't good the way they're all marching in a line and even then still hold your fire so let's run you up over here Because running into them does do some killing, but the problem is it's still just not as effective as, you know, sending them to attack. But sometimes you've got to just run them around to, I don't know, maybe it sort of fixes the logic a bit. Decisive victory, though. That's what matters. I mean, my own army is not looking that healthy, but take what we can get. There we go, yes, they have they are severely depleted. Oh, let's just auto that. <laughs> Path blocked Bob Crawford. Good, so these regions are clear. Let's bring them up to this bridge. John Moore is here, but he is not. Okay, I need to do some recruitment and construction. One turn till the town, the fort is ready. You stand on the bridge. Because if they go, if they try towards, try to come towards the town, I want you to do some interception. To be honest, this is going to be a garrison army. Let's get some Swiss grenadiers. Are really, all I can buy. Buy some, yeah, just buy and just buy a you know, black bronze because good construction, court of appeals in Scotland, good. 
Royal Scots Greys. Okay, only one. We're set them to recruit now. Connaught Rangers. That's, okay, Connaught Rangers. I want to make. Sure, I want to put into the into into an army properly. Some military. Oh, that's because I got a military academy there. Uh, drill school in Madrid. I'm going to build some walls in Madrid because I, f I eventually foresee Portugal being a not so friendly ally. So let's get a bit of a garrison going. I may as well learn how to bear the expense now, I feel it feels like. They are building something, so back in you go. Okay, so then this squadron. It feels like George Elphinstone, you're probably going to want to go up here towards Copenhagen. Yeah, I've got a dry dock from Christiana. Is this is where I want to fix people. I think repairing all the buildings will help a lot. Let's put a secret society. So he's in ambush. He's getting. It's Grouchy moving in from Strasbourg. So up here, you've got Boucher, Napoleon, uh, unknown person in Reims. It'd be nice to take Brussels as Brussels is empty, but that opens us up to the Dutch. Commercial port. Khan is fortified. Well, I was expecting a lot more trouble. Because I cannot recruit an admiral. It's not. It's not ready yet. I'm pretty sure I've got all the armies I can get um, for the moment. But let's move. Is this John Moore? That's Alexander Abercrombie. Let's move him on to Torino. And then Marseille's got a healthy garrison. Flynn Bellamy get into a position that overlooks the city of Milan to see what may be coming our way. And is Marseille being taxed? It is. Let's just check the regions are being taxed at the minute. Well, Paris is, isn't, which is fair enough. Let's do some just overall improvements, I suppose. Probably going to want to fortify Norway a bit. Well, to be honest, Norway and Copenhagen, because while I am currently friendly with Sweden, um, as I start to turn eastwards and look at taking over some of my allies' territories, uh, areas like Copenhagen may become a bit of a magnet. So let's recruit some units of foot. See, they're very much at a loose end, but I'm happy just to kind of leave them there and let the French do what they want to do. If the French want to push east, that's fine, because I'm rolling up on them on the west. And I've got a lot of armies concentrating in one area in a minute. Uh, let's hit this guy, because we should be able to quick the auto it with Wellesley. Good. So then Wellesley, you're probably going to want to come around over here. Spies can try and infiltrate Reams. Yeah, he's got a spy network in there, so I don't really want to move him. Attacks okay. It's the next one I'd probably like to buy. Well, the next one that finishes, which will be limited liability company, will go on to modern rifles. As I got the money, I may as well just upgrade the cities of my conquered territories. Nelson, that's been a bit mauled. You, have you been left, have you been left behind? Lord? Well, this is no place to leave a Highland Foot unit in garrison duty, that's for sure. 
That's a job for a unit of fencibles. There you go. So Nelson on his next task. So let's have a look at Corsica. Not bad. Milan. Well, let's just let's. No, that seems a bit overkill for an army such as for a navy such as this. It's in Gibraltar. Let's recruit. So you're getting a first gun, first ship, of the, first rate ship of the line. Let's get some. Get some frigates and two th uh, 74 gun third rates, and let's start to look at having another uh, blockade fleet in position. And then let's just get one of these guys just to s build a bunch of merchantmen and start sending them off to the uh, trade regions because right now I've got money pouring in. And I may as well move John. So, John at Jarvis, who was originally protecting these squadrons, so right now the only point of attack is through the Baltic and through these remaining ports in Northern Europe. So I may as well engage him. In some way. Because right now we're really starting to limit where they can actually do damage. So let's move this fourth range to John Jarvis' army. Because right now there's no point. Oh no wait, there is a point blockading Calais. Come on impregnable. I thought that was uh, our port. Nope, keep blockading it. So they've been blockaded. Rotterdam is being blockaded and there's no other ports. Hmm. Land in Christiana, I suppose. Let's build some roads. To be honest, do a bit of infrastructure spending. I mean, it seems a bit frivolous, cause I've got, but I've got all this money, so why not? I've already done it. Wellesley's coming around the flank to threaten Strasbourg. Um, there is going to be a big battle here, though, so it would be nice if France could pull its socks up. I only recruit one unit per turn, though, but next turn the walls four will be done, then it'll be Court of Appeals in the Great Museum. Cool. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Great Britain.